Your most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. All right, Dan, it was a cold start out there again with the frost. How are things looking now? I will say it's warm in the sun, but temperature wise, it wouldn't show that yet. So mm -hmm. this is the time of the year where it's kind of confusing. You walk out as James just talked about. It's very cold in the morning and you think I need a jacket all day, but the sun is really warm. I struggle with this. Uh, actually, I ran into somebody yesterday, James. I wasn't wearing a jacket and they were concerned for me. I said, don't worry about it. This is still a weird time of the year. You don't quite need the jacket all day long. And this afternoon is one of those times that we have low to mid 50s outside. It feels warmer than that in the sun and the sun is certainly helping. There are many times that November can be a cloudy month, even December a cloudy month, and we've really been fortunate. We've been seeing days and days of sunshine there over Boiling Springs looking good. There is a front to our north, also a system passing by to our south. If this sounds familiar, we've been in between a lot of different weather patterns right now, and it's really led to dry weather in general. So our hourly forecast staying mainly clear temperatures that'll be near 60 degrees for this afternoon in our warmest locations, and then tonight dropping down into the mid 30s. Taking a look at yesterday's high, we actually did get close to 60 degrees, 58, normal of 54, but low of 32. So still a pretty big divide between the low and the high. Usually that's a big indication that there's been dry air, and certainly there has been. Here is that system to our south. We don't tap into any moisture with that. There's also a large low off the coast. We don't tap into that either. The next front that gets here, I wish it could bring us more rain. It is going to be mild ahead of the front for the next three days, but... The rain is very, very limited. Let's show you the latest here on Precision Cast that today we're dry, just those passing clouds and heading into later tonight. Tomorrow, more clear skies, more sunshine. I think we see sun all day long tomorrow. It's more Friday that clouds begin to increase, but you would think at some point it's our turn for rain. But once again, this front looks disappointing. By the time we get to Friday night, some showers over the mountains and then it just hits this dry air and we don't really see a great chance. Now this is pretty bleak. I think we do get some showers, but look at these totals coming in Friday night into Saturday. It's either the mountains or bust. I do think there's a slightly better chance of rain than that, but I wanted to throw out that possibility that once again, the models don't like our positioning in terms of where the rain is heading. So Friday night into Saturday, there will be some showers overnight. I do think we salvage Saturday. Skies will clear out. It turns breezy. So we go from middle to upper 60s Friday, James, to Back in the 50s for the weekend, low to mid 50s, both Saturday and Sunday, colder at night too. But if you notice, the next part of the seven day shows an additional warm up. So it's been this pattern where about we get two or three warm days. We cool down briefly. We go back up. I don't see that changing moving into Thanksgiving week other than maybe some rain just ahead of Thanksgiving. We will yeah. continue to wait and see on that. And that'll be important to watch for because you know that because you travel day. Busy, busy Wednesday there before Thanksgiving. And right now the rain still looks like it's lining up that day, but we have a week to go. All right, very good. Thank you, Dan. Sure. Up next, could 